Hey y'all, this is uh, William Rodriguez. Shout out to George Carlino, Kenny Bowles. Check out my new hit single, Bill Club. Day I had a bill collector come to my door and say, how you doing, my friend? I said, I was doing fine till you yeah, showed up. What the hell do you want me to give? He said, I'm going to need a painter for the electrical and gas and the water because it's way too high. I said, you better get your ass on my face, motherfucker, because you ain't getting shit tonight. He said, now I understand that you might have kids and your situation ain't more nice, but I'm going to need some money. In my hand, oh, the city's gonna put the lights. I said, I told you once, and no need for twice. I'ma go back to my room. And when I come back, you better be long gone, cause I really got something for you. I got you good in one hand, you slide in the other hand. And I told you, just put the lights, and just put the lights, and just put the lights, and just put the lights. Just cut the lights and just cut the lights and I'm singing. Just cut the lights and just cut the lights and just cut the lights. And for another side note, yeah, I hate to say, got no money in my pocket for the bank. And if times weren't high, man, the shit's getting hot. I can't find a job around with that page. That's why I'm calling on the phone for the week and not enough to make it by. And I'm hoping that I'm bringing you the stars of the heaven. Hey there, Mr. Bill Collector, I wrote this song for you. Yeah, I'm sitting here staying up all day and night, yeah, and I'm gonna make it through. I said, hey there, Mr. Bill Collector, I wrote this song for you. Come on, yeah, I'm sitting here staying up all day and night, and I'm gonna make it through. Now, if I can't help you, and she can't help me, then what am I supposed to do? Well, I'm damned if I ever let my two kids stop, I'll make this money however I do. I don't need nobody judging me, these bills can sit in front of me, I'm burning both ends of my fuse. And I'm tired of all the stress, and Lord, help me send some blessings, cause I really got nothing to lose. Another side note, yeah, I hate to say, ain't got no money in my pocket for the pain. And if times weren't high, man, it's getting hot, I can't find a job around that place. That's why I'm calling on the mom and on the phone for the week and not enough to make it by. And I'm hoping that I'm praying to the stars and I'm hoping that the world's gonna shed some light. Hey there, Mr. Bill Collector, I wrote this song for you. Sitting here, staying up all day and night, yeah, I'm gonna make it through. I said, hey there, Mr. Bill Collector, I wrote this song for you. Come on, got yeah, me sitting here, staying up all day and night, and I'm gonna make it through. Hey there, Mr. Bill Collector, I wrote this song for you. Yeah, I'm sitting here, staying up all day and night, and I'm gonna make it through. Hey there, Mr. Bill Collector, I wrote this song for you. I think it's weird how we're like human beings are trying to control the population of animals, you know? Like anytime the deer population gets out of control, some dude will literally get on TV and be like, alright, the deer population is up to about 17, 1800. Realistically, we need to get that number down to about five, six of them, alright? <laughs> To start them off, you got a gun, fucking chew one in the fight. I'm just sitting at home like, what are they there doing that's so bad for the environment, you know? They're gonna eat all the fucking grass. They're coming up to trees, just nibbling. Just nibbling. Dude, the deer didn't put a hole in the ozone layer, right? That's not a bunch of dogs clogging up the freeways. It's us, right? We can fuck all we want. No one's gonna stop you. Could have, you could have 15 kids, have a 16th on the way. No one's gonna get on TV and be like, all right, Paul is still fucking. <laughs> Start him off, you got a gun, fucking shoot him in the face. Do what you gotta do, this guy, he's out of control. That is great. It's great, man. You can just keep banging away. You can just keep banging away, making one useless, mediocre, not gonna invent shit kid after another. <laughs> I don't understand. 
people like that. Say, don't you realize after your third loser kid, you don't have the DNA to make somebody special? Say, what are you doing? All you're doing, you're just making more in the way people just walking around, looking up at shit, and you're trying to get down the sidewalk, you know? Or you know that dude, whenever you go into the deli, there's always that guy in front of you who doesn't know what he wants. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of bread is that? It's like, dude, stop making that fucking guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that dude, that dude is everywhere. <laughs> That's why I love old people. I love old people. They always with their family photos. Cracks me up. They always, well, they're all proud. Like, well, we had five kids, and then they all had five, and da-da, da-da. <laughs> it's like, yeah, none of you did shit. I don't recognize anybody in that photo. You just made 30 people who are all taking a shit every day that ends up in a river. That's not a family photo, that's an environmental disaster and you framed it. <laughs> no, that's my solution for global warming. Everybody's talking about cars and oil, that doesn't matter. It's just too many people, you know, it's too many people doing it. It's just, you know, you want to help the environment, just stop fucking. Right? I'm not saying stop fucking, but you know, pull out. You can still have your fun, right? But you gotta stop looking at babies like they're these cute things, all right? They're not. They are, they are cute, but most of them are just gonna grow up. They're just gonna end up being another shithead with like an SUV that doesn't pull out far enough into the intersection, right? Now you gotta wait a whole nother light to make a left, and you're just sitting there losing your shit, screaming at your windshield with this dude who didn't need to exist. It's like there's no reason for that guy. We got that out. I don't know. That's my plan. They should just make babies illegal for like the next like 25, 30 years, right? <laughs> That'd be great. Think about it. Somebody's born, three people are born every second to one person dying, right? So if you're not making anybody, it's like, bam, somebody just died, right? Somebody just fell down some stairs. Somebody just tripped over a skateboard, right? And you know what? Fucking lanes just opening up on the highway, right? <laughs> you know, you get to work a little sooner. You're in a better mood. Dude, you get it down to like 30,000 people. 30,000 people will be the shit. All right, Super Bowl comes around, everybody can go. Right? Everybody can go. 22 of you get to play. The odds of you making it in the NFL, it's ridiculous. Dude, even if you suck, you can still lead a block on punts. You'd be like the wedge breaker, or maybe that guy holding the first down marker. Like, yeah, I'm going to do something. You wouldn't have to recycle. Dude, there was 30,000 people, man. Yeah, everybody here, you could literally drive your own tank. You could drive a tank, you could throw toxic waste out the top. You could shoot a bald eagle right in the head. Ah, there's plenty of them. Plenty of them. Dude, they're shitting all over my tank. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Look, people, I don't read, okay? Seriously, none of my shit is researched, you know? But out of all the bullshit I'm talking up here, I think I'm onto something with this, you know? It's like I'm eliminating people, but like no one has to die. That's it, just stop making... Dude, we're gonna end up like China. They got like over a billion people, just, just jam-packed. Every day is like the subway. You just stand there, you can't even fall asleep. Oh shit, sorry about that. Just jam-packed. You never think about that shit? Just standing there. I'm gonna be sitting there. First of all, how easy is it to get away with the crime over in China? You know? First of all, you pick somebody's pocket, you don't even, you don't even have to run away. You just fucking weave your way back in the crowd and fucking stand over here. <laughs> Guy's standing there like, dude, somebody just took my wallet! Dude, he's right over there! He's right over he's right there! Dude, he's got black hair, he's five foot five, he's dressed like he's in reservoir dogs. He's right over there! That's right, where we're gonna be headed. How many more strip malls can you make? Places to get donuts and people to get their nails done. Everybody's all excited. This area is really, really exploding. It's really exploding. It's like, no, dude, people are fucking, and then they're just building more shit. I don't know. 
I gotta get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am. I'm, I'm serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I, I've realized this about myself. Like, you know, I'm not married, you know? I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I gotta pick a street. Either then I'm gonna get married, you know? Or I'm just gonna end up being that creepy old guy hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. Yes. No, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. This is a critical point when you stay single too long and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that. Say, eh, fuck it, say it. See what happens. <laughs> Dude, and once you cross that line, this is the, the evil that just, just opens up. It's just, you know. I don't know, you know what, I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman here, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you want to I mean, literally, you know? Every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more of your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch. And every day, just... Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out! So one day, you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, what are you doing? No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn how to how to pick my battles with my girl. You know, it's what I am. You know, I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days they they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they want to do. Hey, come get a picnic. We have a picnic. You bring the good bank and you fucking. <laughs> then other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta just create this perimeter, something for them to bounce off of, like. And you, just, and you just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. Gang, gang, you start coming back. see my parents. No, they're relentless, they never stop, and there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit them. That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bomb guy, yeah, I go to the fucking gym, slap his protein <laughs> stick out of me, hey, go fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face, totally acceptable, right? But with women, there's no line, they can just...